When the kids arrived, I think they were really curious about who who they all were as a group. It's hard to build an ensemble and a cohesive group really quickly. And that's why Seamus and I kind of wanted to help them drop some of their reserve and some of their barriers. We decided to bring in two actors, Jeff Mianza and John Patrick from Playmakers, to guide them, you know, straight away through breathing exercises and relaxation exercises. We really tried to emphasize building a safe space for the kids to explore and to build their own identities as musicians and artists. So in the beginning of the week, it was all about really learning the music. And as we went through, we started to see their musicianship and their own artistry creep in more and more. It was very interesting for me to watch the way certain kids gravitated towards certain other kids. They were kind of attracted to them musically. So there were points where there'd be, you know, one group around one piano singing one song, you know, another group singing a song from once, other people singing a Bonnie Vare song. And then they'd all kind of come together and it, it was exciting, it was moving. You make me smile, please stay for a while now. Just take your time wherever you go. One of the greatest things I think about this week was we actually got outside artists to come in and share their stories about, you know, performance techniques or how to really harmonize well, how to write a song well. As she lies here beside me asleep with the night. Right, so you remember that's a pedal. The second One of the things we're talking about today is um, harmony singing, vocal harmony, meaning if someone is singing a song and singing the melody, the main, you know, kind of melody that you would recognize from a song, uh, often other people will be singing along with them, maybe the same words, maybe not. Um, with with notes that that harmonize with it, which other notes that kind of fit with the notes of the melody and that kind of reflect um, what's going on with the other instruments, the chords that are being played behind it. Across the board, I was really impressed by just how dedicated they all seemed to uh, to the process of learning, you know, how to sing um, in groups and how to be a soloist. It was so great because just day one, you get the kids in the room and they start singing, and every worry every you know preoccupation just melts away and you're just in this moment where you're like oh, wow we've got this creature this little this entity and it's it produces such a, a beautiful thing wanted to do was let the kids learn the songs and then have the arrangers come back and listen to the chorus singing their arrangement. On Thursday, Phil Cook Skyped in from Sweden. He looked like the, the musical enforcer. He was just kind of looming over the kids. And they all stood on chairs and they were singing up at the screen. He was just like, no, stop here, bring it up here, take it down there. This is how, you know, this is how a gospel chorus sounds. You guys are doing awesome. It just sounds fantastic. What these guys are going to do in the studio is completely different as a result of the arrangers getting to work with the kids. To see them interact with one another and interact with us, it's, it's really been fun. We've learned some really great music and we were able to put together some really disparate ideas. It was just so exciting to give kids the space to sing with each other, to sing on their own, you know, to be, to be heard, really. And what we got to hear was so, was so exciting a lot of the time. Ready. 